Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. Now, a few people have been uh, leaving comments on YouTube asking me when the Yui Fury uh, video's out. Uh, let me just say, I'll do a Yui Fury video when I want to do a Yui Fury video, alright? But, we're going to do it today, so, but like I said, I'm not going to rush to put something out and get things inaccurate. I've spoken to certain people, but Yui Fury, yep, yeah, he's gone to Eddie Hearn. Peter Fury is still his trainer. Mick Hennessy is still involved with him. He's not going to be promoting me, promoting him, obviously. Uh, that's all I can. What that's what I can say. But uh, Mick's still involved. So all them people slagging Mick off, unlucky. He's still involved. Now Mick's done well for Yui. He's got him a. Uh, world title shot and he's had a, a a final eliminator so he's done well so as far as i'm concerned it's not mick's fault that Yui got cut in bulgaria early on in the fight and uh, i thought he won the parker fight but it was a mandatory decision so he lost but looking at Yui's career you know Yui's 24 years of age He's ranked 21 on box rec. He's still ranked with IBF in top 15. He's done 130 rounds. He's learning his craft, isn't he? 24 year old. He's still a bit of a kid. Do you know what I mean? Six foot six, 15 and a half stone. You know he's uh, he's still learning his craft. But if you look on earlier on in his record, you'll see that in his one, two, three, four, five, six. In his 15th fight, he beat that Andre Redenko over 24 and 1. Now, when you're doing that in your 15th fight, and uh, age 20, age 20 year old, and you're doing that as a 20 year old to Redenko over 24 and 1 at the time, and highly touted. You know, you, you're going to be hard to match, aren't you? And you, with Fury, has been hard to match. Now, a lot of people on here leave comments saying, you know, you're, they leave disgusting comments, don't they? And I just laugh at them because it shows that they're bothered about me. Shows you that you're watching. Shows me that you're watching and that you care. Good comments or bad, it doesn't matter. Keep leaving them. Now, but, like I've just said to you, 24 years old. 24 year old now if you look at Yui's cousin Tyson Fury now what had Tyson done when he was 24 years old let's have a little look so that'll take Tyson to 2012 let's have a look 2012. Well, he's a very decorated uh, amateur Tyson, isn't he? Very decorated. Very. Uh, have a look. Box wreck. Tyson Fury in 2012. He had already won. Tyson had won the British, the Commonwealth. He was British and Commonwealth champion up to 2012. So basically, he'd only got a Commonwealth belt more than more than Yui. So why are people digging Yui out? I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it at all. Tyson had had a defeat against John McDermott, but he got the nod. Now, if you're going to say that about the Wilder fight, that Tyson beat Wilder, well, we all know he lost against John McDermott, don't we? But he put that right in the rematch, and I think he'll put Wilder right. But getting back to Yui, he's got time on his hand. Tyson went no further forward than, than Yui at this stage of his career. He beat Derek Chisora. 
Tyson had beat Derek Chisora, who were a 14-0 novice for British and Commonwealth title. That was it. Huey at the same stage. He, he, what had Huey Tyson done as a 20-year-old? When Tyson were a 20-year-old, he'd beat Bella Gayonga Yose. A three and nine and two on his debut. You were already fifteen and only beat Ridenko. So people need to stop having a dig at Yui. Now I'm not saying that because I'm a good pal of his dad. No, I'm not. I like Tyson Fury, but there's too many people trying to cause trouble on social media. Me and Pete, me and Peter Fury, let me tell you, we laugh at these comments. Laugh. All right. Now Peter will hear this video. And he'll just, he'll just, he just goes with flow, doesn't he? He's not going to comment about family matters, and it's not for me to comment. But people keep making comparisons in emails about Tyson this and Yui that and blah de blah. Look at the records. Look at where they both were at 24 years of age. Look where they both were. All right. Tyson didn't become British. Commonwealth and European champion. He'd never, he'd not won the the bit, the the three below the world until he was 26. Tyson was 26 when he won the European. He'd got British Commonwealth and European in his locker when he was 26 years of age. Yui's 25 in September. So if Yui can get a Commonwealth and a European belt in the next. To 16 months, 16. Next 20 months, if Yui gets a European and a Commonwealth, he, he, he could match Tyson. It's all about timing, isn't it? And learning your craft. And Tyson were raw then, even when he beat Chisora in the second fight, he was still raw. Do you know what I mean? He'd been dropped by Steve Cunningham in America on his American debut. He's still very raw. Do you know what I mean? And people shouldn't make comparisons of different styles altogether. Very different styles. But like I said, Yui's got plenty of time on his hands. And if it if it weren't any good, do you think Eddie Earn would be signing him? So alright, so all the best to Yui Fury going to match room. Eddie Earn's not my favourite person, but Peter and Yui are going to get more chances and Savannah Marshall will probably get more chances as well on back of it, won't she? They'll probably make the Clarissa Shields fight. So as far as I'm concerned, it's it's good, isn't it, really? It's good for them. And if Mick can swallow a bit of his pride and work with Eddie Earn, that's good as well, isn't it? You've got to think what's best for your fighter. And if it's the best move for Yui, Peter's going to do what's best for his son, isn't he? And his fighter, Savannah Marshall, is going to do what be what's best for them, but... At the moment, Savannah's still managed by Mick Hennessy, isn't she? So, but, if they've not got a TV slots and a promoter, they'll be going on match room, won't, won't they, Savannah and Yui? So that's good, isn't it? So at least they've got a home to be promoted by. So people need to get off my case, trying to stir shit up on all your fake accounts that we all just laugh about. Just fake accounts, aren't they? I mean, there's a, I'm not even going to read them out. Well, it's just embarrassing. I mean, some of these people are unbelievable. It's like the one on Twitter. I forgot his name now, but he actually gets up in the morning and decides to call himself Prince Patel and send abuse. It's like me getting up in it and saying, I'm going to get up tomorrow and I'm going to pretend to be Frank Smith from Matchroom and I'm going to go around playing pranks on people and trolling them. It's totally embarrassing. But onwards and upwards, good luck to Yui. And good luck to Tyson and the rest of his career as well. I know he's not fighting anybody at the moment. He just fought Tom Swartz, and he? And they're saying he might fight Charlie Martin next. I mean, how embarrassing would that be? Tyson said in an interview that he's the worst ever guy to hold a belt. He's a former champion, they're now saying, though, aren't they? But, yeah. Charlie Martin's a former champion, but he never beat a champion. So, get with the programme. But, today's video is about you with Fury and good luck to him in his future in match. Alright, peace out, keep on trucking.